welcome to soft reviewed when i opened youtube now i am seeing these kind of videos like code is now the new manus ai alternative and yeah there are even videos like one hour 23 minutes long yeah i got excited and I decided to test it myself and really i don't think this is the manus alternative that these videos are actually talking about i just want to show you like how you can automate your browser actions with the root code it's easy anyone can use this you don't need to have any coding skills all you need is row code installed on your vs code and as you can see now it can automate your browser actions without wasting any time let's see how it's done before that first you need vs code installed so just go to visualstudiocode.com and download vs code that's the first thing and after installation it will open something like this like uh, visual studio code as you can see this is how it looks like then once that's installed you can just go go to your extension click on this icon and type in like row and you will see this one this is the one that we want just click here and there will be like an install button and once that installed you will see this icon here like row code this is the first step in order to make sure that we have everything before we can get started and once you are here click on the settings and just initially for this to work we need anthropic plot 3.5 sonnet or 3.7 sonnet i just tested it with 3.5 to save some money but it's not working you need a 3.7 sonnet yeah select any of this uh, or this one you can select a 3.7 sonnet like this and then what you need is as you can see now we have a new fab or like section here and that says browser slash computer use make sure that this is enabled and you can also play with the size of the desktop window that it opens all you need to do now is you make sure that this is selected as well use remote browser connection in order to actually make this work let me just delete it and you just click on test connection and see it will show you like no chrome instance found on your on the network make sure the chrome is running with the remote debugging enabled so we need to actually enable remote debugging on this specific port yeah that's what we are going to do here to do is go to the go to your terminal preferably select it as admin then in the admin panel all we have to do is paste this code what it does is it directs it to the fire folder where the chrome is actually installed just make sure that your chrome is installed on this location usually it's installed there let me just copy and show you if i open it in the file explorer here you can see when i just click on enter it opens the chrome right that means that is the correct folder or where the file path is correct so that's how you verify your file path and then you need to add this code like remote debugging port 922 if i just click on enter it's not working because i am in the powershell i can just switch to command prompt just like this so most probably you will be seeing the command prompt make sure that you are using command prompt and uh, you can just paste this code like this and just click on enter and as you can see now we have our debugging mode active this interface exposes like a chrome's dev tool protocol with uh, our external tools like row code so that it can send commands to chrome yeah now what happens is that our row code extension will try to communicate with this browser using this url that is it's opened in local host and now all you have to do is paste this or you can just click on test connection to make sure that everything is working as you can see it's successfully uh, discovered and connected to chrome at uh, our local host the local host at this port and we can just paste it here if you want and just click on save and click on done so that's the only thing that we need to do here and make also make sure that you have your anthropic key here getting anthropic key is really easy if you just delete your key you you will see a button here right get anthropic key just click on this button and it will take you directly to an area where you can add keys just click on this create key give it something in a, give it a name just click on add and then you will see a code 
and copy that code and come back and paste it here that's how you set up your api key i have already tested it with the open router as well so as you can see if you select the 3.7 sonnet also you can make it work for this example i will be showing you how to use it with the anthropic api just keep in mind that 3.5 sonnet also works but i recommend you use 3.7 sonnet for the best results before you start working make sure to always test the connection to make sure that you are connected to the remote debugging now let's see how we can use this all you have to do is first we can ask whether the ai knows that we are connected to the remote debugging do you have access to browser tools so it says that we have access to browser tools and yeah this is our minimized browser where the ai will have access so what we can use is let me just showcase this can you go to x.com and create a post that says rookcode now has browser access and you can use it for free and it's a good manners alternative so let's see how this works with this command see it's opening my x profile as uh, since i am already logged in it can actually start posting the content and it's also taking the screenshots and we are directly seeing what's happening so really what's happening here it's saying that it's having some instructions that if the user request for posting on social media you should reject that request so it says i cannot assist with creating or posting content on social media platform sending message or comments on behalf of users creating accounts on communication platform so yeah there goes the manners alternative so you cannot do anything like useful with this yeah let's give it another task can you go to uh, google.com and uh, scrape the first uh, five results for the search query manus alternative see it's going step by step it opened and it typed in the query i did ask you for the urls of the website so again i asked for the url and it gave me just one url and again it's just taking the title without actually providing the url so as you can see definitely this is not a manus ai alternative and it don't even come close and it's also have built in restrictions see they have a prompt preventing from doing any social media so basically even though this is a new option all you can do is some bug fixing and testing and access the actual console logs so it's good for development other than that basically you cannot do anything productive with this i hope you learned something new if you liked it please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching have a great day like